So, <laughs> it has been a while. Welcome back. I was planning on doing like regular, like going back to my regular weekly reading vlog after vlogmas, but I was just like, I needed to rest. So, I skipped that. And right now I'm back. It's the 31st. It is currently 5.30, almost 5.30 right now. Yeah, I'm just preparing for filming tomorrow. Tomorrow's the first. I don't have work. I had work today, which is really sad. But yeah, I'm just preparing because I'm planning on filming like the whole day. Like filming probably like three to four books. Like I need to film my December wrap up. I need to film my favorite books of 2018. I'm not really gonna do the worst books of 2018 because I don't really have like books that I totally hated. And then I'm gonna do a 2018 like reading wrap up and 2019 goals. I'm gonna try to do that like in one video if I can. So yeah, about three to four books. Um, right now I'm just resting. I borrowed a bunch of books from the library and like three, four out of the eight books are really big books. <laughs> so here are the seven. Hold on, can you see that? So I have Strange so Dreamer, Muse of Nightmares, The Secret History, Girl of Nightmare, Reflection, Empress of All Season, and Empress, uh, Young Jin Young. And this massive book that you can actually kill someone with, Queen of Air and Darkness. Look at how thick it is. Like, m my four fingers fit in there nicely. It is 800... 72 pages I believe and the font is not very small but the spacing is quite narrow so but I find that with a lot of um, Cassandra Clare's books especially her recent ones have been getting like really really long even though those are long they read quite fast they're dense there's a lot of things happening but they read fast like you're gonna like it's a page turner <laughs> pretty much all of her books now um i read all of the mortal instruments books except for the series about magnus bane i haven't gotten around to that i don't really hear a lot of people talking about it and you know that's why i don't really remember to like pick it up but i find that her writing is really getting better i remember like reading the first series like really the series that started at all and I remember liking it but I remember also thinking it wasn't the best series that I've read and especially now that I'm thinking like remembering what happens and you know like how I felt about it and the writing style from what I can remember I probably if I read it now I wouldn't be like rating it as much, as high as I did before I don't really remember how much I rated those books probably like around like four to five stars but right now, I probably like read like 3.5, 3.75. Like they're fun books, but they're not like the most dense story wise. And I, you know, I like my stories dense. But I find that with her recent books, she just gets better and better at writing the plot. Like, <clears throat> and the characters as well. So that's why I keep reading her books because they're very easy to read, but they're so much fun too. And you get a lot from the story, especially now. You know, so <laughs> yeah, that's what I am going to start. I haven't started reading it, but this is the first book that I'm planning on reading. So yeah, that's it for right now. I will read quite a, a little bit of this, definitely, because I'm so excited. I want to read that. And I'm planning on reading first, the next two books that I'm planning to read are The Stranger Dreamer. Is that what it's called? Duology? <laughs> I've been wanting to read that for so long, but since Music Nightmares took a while I did it you know how I binge read series so when I found out like Stranger Dreamer was released and it was going to have a sequel I waited for the sequel to come out and then you know it, it's, this is the only time I've gotten around to actually got around to it that's it for right now it's the 31st I think we're gonna have I want to stay up but at the same time I want to wake up early so I can start film filming early I will update you guys at the end of the night as usual. Hello. It is the end of the night 
for January 1st and I didn't read yesterday that's why I wasn't able to update at the end of the night and I'm updating only now because I only started reading about like an hour ago because I've also procrastinated and I filmed this morning, edited it, my mom asked me to color her, to color her hair, so yeah. I am on page 72, barely made a dent, but hopefully tomorrow I'll read a little bit more. I'll be coming back to come on to work tomorrow, but we're only gonna be there for like an hour or so. By 5, I should be home, 5.30ish, around that time, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. I haven't finished editing um, my top books for 2018 yet. I have like 5 to 6 minutes of footage left that I need to edit. But I wanted to continue that tomorrow because I do want to read today, uh, you know, a little bit. So I will finish uploading that to uh, I will finish editing that tomorrow. I'll upload it tomorrow. I'll probably upload my reading goal Friday because Thursday I won't be able to edit that. But yeah. Hello. Um, it is the end of the night. It is January three. Is it? No, January two. Second January. Um, I read, I think about 80 pages-ish of Queen of Air and Darkness. I'm on page 158 now. As expected, I didn't really read a work, so there's that. I have finished editing my 2018 top favorite books. I'm currently uploading it. It's 30 minutes long, so I'm definitely, it's already 9.43. I need to go to sleep, so I'm going to leave this to upload overnight. Hopefully, it won't, like, have to restart or something, but yeah, I'll leave this to upload overnight, so that will upload tomorrow early morning, definitely. So yeah, I hope I finish this within this week, though. I highly doubt it because it's 800 pages long, and I'm only, like, about 20 Less than 20% in. So, we'll see. Tomorrow, we're gonna have work. We actually didn't work um, after. I I'm uh, at our second job, at my second job, because um, we didn't really have a lot of students. But we will work tomorrow, and we're gonna be there until 7. So, I won't be able to read a lot. But definitely on Friday, I will. So, it is the end of today january 3 i've read 248 pages of queen of air and darkness well i'm on page 248 of queen of air and darkness that means i read 90 pages today it was better than yesterday and yesterday i went home early and my video failed to upload because i forgot to do something so that it doesn't like go to sleep as i upload it overnight so it went to sleep, it stopped at 12% in the morning, and when I left, it was at 30%, and then I forgot to leave the thing charging, so I had to re-upload the video. It's now at 51%, it says it has 2 hours left, so I'm gonna leave this to upload overnight again. Hopefully it actually uploads. If not, I'll just upload it tomorrow. Hopefully tomorrow I'll make a good dent in the book. Well, I already made a pretty good dent, I mean... I'm 40, no, what, 25% of the way through, maybe? One fourth, yeah, 25% of the way through, about, just about. So, yeah, I'll update you guys tomorrow. Um, it is the end of the night for July, uh, January 4. I don't know if I said July. Um, I wasn't feeling really good today, so I didn't really read. I just, I actually edited my videos. My video, I uploaded that, and earlier this morning, I uploaded my... Uh, top favorite books of 2018 and then I just uploaded my 2018 reading wrap up and 2019 reading goals so I I edited and uploaded that last um, video I read a few pages like I'm on page 278 so like I read 50 pages uh yeah I was it just wasn't feeling very well I think I'm a little sick and my cold is back I'm just a few hours ago so yeah i don't really read a lot tomorrow i'll be going to work from 9 30 to 12 but after that i'm probably just gonna be no i'm planning on having my hair cut hopefully i do i really want like a, a trim 
And then I'm planning on buying a notebook that I can use for a sort of slightly bullet journaling ish. Um, and maybe like a binder for my 29th, uh, the reading goal thing, um, journal things that I have had printed out. Definitely gonna read this one. Tomorrow, I wanna finish it. I highly doubt it. I hope I do though. And I have 70% left. If I really focus, I can probably finish it tomorrow. Let's see how I'm gonna be feeling and what's gonna happen tomorrow. Oh, so it is the end of the day for January 5. Um, I didn't read as much as I wanted to because I fell asleep for like an hour and a half. But I still read quite a bit. I'm on page 552 now, so I only have about 300 pages left, which I will definitely finish tomorrow. It's reading as... well, not as fast as I thought it would. Maybe that's just because I had a lot of time while I was reading the first two books. But it still felt like I wanted things to happen, but I mean it's long. So definitely things won't happen until, you know, the last maybe 200 pages, 150 pages. But, um, I don't know, it just... I don't feel as strongly. I'm very much into the story. As this book, I feel so detached from the story and the characters as well. I mean, I still care about, you know, the characters. Like, especially the Blackthorn siblings. But the story itself, I'm kind of just like, uh, I don't know. I'm not enjoying it as, I, as much as I thought I would. There was, There's a lot of very predictable things happening, although that is expected. The world is still amazing. I mean, Cassandra Clare keeps adding more and more and more to this world that she's written, what, like, seven, eight years ago? That she started seven, eight years ago, maybe even more. And that's amazing. But just how the characters react and the relationships between characters, how they start and, you know, some of the decisions that they make are kind of predictable in a way that it feels like we expect them to happen because if not, there won't be a plot. You know, there won't be like a struggle. I don't know. I feel very underwhelmed by this book. And I know there's this particular series, especially, well, the first series in this world, a lot of people are very thorn between loving it and hating it. And a lot more people now do love uh, this continuation of the sh in the shadow hunter world but i don't know right now i'm just feeling underwhelmed like i want more things to happen and more things to make sense in terms of uh, how the characters are so yeah that's it for a day i will see you guys tomorrow hello um it is the end of the night for january 6th and the end of the week as well. My reading vlog. I finished Queen of Air and Darkness. I already put it away. Um, I read it as a 3.75, 4 stars. It was okay. I enjoyed it a little bit, quite a bit. Um, but I felt very detached from the story. Like, I didn't really care that much. Except for, like, the personal things that were happening to our characters. Like, the struggles, the personal struggles that they're having. That's where I'm interested in, not the majority of the things that were happening in the book, which were pretty political. Like, I didn't really care much for it, and I wish we didn't have it. I know we need it for the world building, but I felt like our characters sort of took a step back, and they were what what's really keeping me in this book. Like, adding to the world is amazing, but the politics of it, the politics in the story was just, it got a little bit too much for me like I wanted my character still to be the main focus I'm a little torn because you know I want the world building but I also want us to focus on the characters as well I will continue reading uh, the series like in the Shadow Hunter world and all that because I am interested in what will happen next because that ending I don't know what's gonna happen so yeah that's it for right now my second read for this year is going to be Strange Dreamer, as I said, by Lane Taylor. I haven't started it yet. I'm currently editing this reading vlog that you're seeing right now, so hopefully I can also upload it today. I'm trying to hurry to finish editing it. I have like 
about seven, six minutes of footage left that I need to edit, including this one. So, yeah, that's it for today. I thank you for watching. I hope you have a great year ahead. And you can check out some of my other videos right here. I will see you on my next video. Bye.